Hello guys. Well, I've got a little resin project for you here. So this is going to be a quick video, I hope. Um, and I want to talk to you guys about um, who this cat is um, and why I'm doing this video. Um, basically, uh, sorry, I keep saying uh, so I have not really thought about what I'm going to say. <laughs> this cat is called Heathcliff and he lives at the Kitty Cafe in Nottingham. Now, because of the current situation, the virus and all that, um, they could do with a bit of support, to be honest. Um, they still have to pay the landlord and all that, and I think they're getting help now to pay for their staff and everything. We have to still go in every day to check on the cats. Uh, but I'm basically doing this to say to you guys, if you would not mind, please nip over. I'm going to leave the links in the description and just subscribe to their YouTube channel because they are trying to get uh, monetization as a way of getting some income. Uh, last I checked they were on about 900 subscribers so every little helps, you know, if you can. Just go and subscribe so they can get to a thousand. Um, and get some money to help look after the cats because the cats are still there throughout all this. Let me just heat this up and get rid of some bubbles. I'll do it for a minute. Um, oh crap, I'm cutting this out last I speak to you. Um, yeah, so. If you don't know what the Kitty Cafe are, um, that's their logo. Um, they're in Birmingham, Nottingham, and Leeds, and I believe they're trying to open up in Leicester, but I don't know if that will happen now with all this. They were putting the building together and everything, so I'm sure it still will. Um, but yeah, so they, what you do when you go in is you pay a donation. Um, and then that gives you an hour slot and that donation pays for the cat's welfare it pays for the food and the vet bills and all that and they are basically a cat rescue they take cats that can't be looked after anymore by their owners or strays or yeah so I'm going to link their Facebook page and you can see some of their cats and yeah so basically this is some leftover resin I had before it's got a little bit of glitter in it so I'm going to pop Heathcliff in there Heathcliff is my favourite cat he is a Maine Coon and he's huge he's like a little lion and he's gorgeous and he's very placid he mostly sleeps. I think he's getting a, a bit older. I don't think he's old, but he's an old cat. He's a very mellow cat. Absolutely gorgeous, but you can't adopt Heathcliff. He is, I believe he's the owner's cat. But he's gorgeous. And he's huge. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of resin in there and spread it around a bit. Need to heat it to get rid of the bubbles, sorry. And then we'll pop, pop the image in. I found this way works best for me. This, um, to stop me getting so many bubbles. I might still get some, but this is the way I found easiest for me. Just push, make sure I get any bubbles out. Look underneath. That looks that looks okay to me. And then I'll just pour a little bit more resin on the back. Cover him. Yeah. So you can buy a uh, things like a little book. You can buy that on their website. You can buy things like this cushion. <laughs> you can't see very well, but I've got a little cushion. 
you can buy cardigans, dresses. Not exactly cheap, I will say, but it is a charity, so. Yeah, and when they open back up again, I cannot wait to go back in and fuss the cat. Uh, so, just pop that somewhere flat. And take this one, and I didn't get my glitter out. I think I want a gold for this one because this cliff is kind of like a golden lion. <laughs> so let's see if we've got a nice fine gold. Um, just, I'll be back in a sec. That actually didn't take me long. I did find a nice gold. So I'm just going to, I'm going to do the same as I did with the other one. Just put a base layer of um, glittery. Resin, oh, oh, too much glitter, maybe. Mm. Oh my. Too much. Mm, let's see. Well, we could always just try a very, very thin layer. Or we can make it upside down. Yeah, let's make it upside down. and then let's have some heat <laughs> to disperse that glitter not glitter to pop the bubbles <laughs> sorry there we go right so we'll go and stick that somewhere flat to sit resin left that we should use so let's just use it in here I do not use for chocolates, <laughs> obviously, that would be bad. Do you need it for both? Right, let's just scoop out the rest. A little bit of resin goes a long way, I find. I 
don't know if I if you can avoid smearing it all over your mold. Just give that a quick heat. There we go. And now we'll have to wait a few hours for those layers to set before we can proceed. Now, actually, whilst we're waiting, well, we can sort of get on a little bit. This is only going to take a few minutes. Uh, I'll just. Plan. Yeah. Just a little bit, and then I'm going to consider. So we're going to have the glitter around here. I'm going to have this on top. Do we want anything else? Do we want any more bling? Maybe, maybe some more bling would be nice. Let's, uh, do you want to come in a little bit and have a look? Please excuse my nails, I'm not very good at doing them. I get very impatient, so some of them are a bit chipped and smudged and yeah. What I've got, yes, I have lots of uh, heart stickers. I'm leaning towards these ones, so let's have a look. I do, I'm hoping the carry sheet, oh no, I was hoping the carry sheet would be clear so I could see. Maybe even go over the See what I'm doing now. <laughs> yeah, so the other photo was a photo off their website, off their Facebook page. This one, the one that I took. I don't know if I already said that. <laughs> Was at Dreamy's time in the one in Nottingham, which coincidentally at the moment you can watch live at 1 pm every day on the Facebook page. There we go. Fact, I'm going to peel some of them off and just because this is a little bit bigger than the photo so we can have some overhanging, let's have some more, let's have some bigger ones again there. should we have a really big one? Or is that going to be too much? Oh, I think that's going to be too much. Yeah. The bottom. Right, now is that going to be too much? No, nope, that should be just about fine. How many have we got? One, two, six, seven. Okay, I'll leave it at seven. Yeah. 
so I will be back when it's time to add the next layer okay so it's been a couple of hours still a bit soft but that's okay I can work with that I'm just going to put a little tiny layer in here Just put a bit of something to soft over it. And now I think we're going to add some good to this one. Before I do that, just need to add. And some stars. Mm -hmm. 
I'll probably move a little bit when I pour this on. I'll try not to right now. Try not to push them back a little bit. Make sure I've got no bubbles. And I will put that on to my flat to go to. Okay, let's see. Um, about 16 hours, so it's not 100% cured. This one, I think I'm going to add another layer because I've got a little bit of a, a dent there, and it's not as thick as I usually like. My coasts are like quite chunky, so I'm going to add just another clear layer on that one. Maybe add a bit of glitter, um, but I just want to finish this video so. That may have to be revealed in another video, but we're going to do a reveal on this one so that I can get it all uploaded. You can see. Okay, moment of truth. Look how thick that is. Yes, thick coaster. That's what I like. Chunky. Yeah. How cute is that? I still feel it's sticky underneath there. There we go. When the light shines on it, it'd be really pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So as I say, I'm going to leave all the links below to where you can support the Kitty Cafe and this gorgeous little fella. Um, if you could just go over to the YouTube and subscribe, that would be a massive help. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this quick little video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.